Hi, yogis, and thanks for joining me on another beautiful sequence of yin yoga. Today, we're going to be incorporating twisting into the asanas that you already know. So twisting is a great and beautiful way to explore a new variation of what you already know. So today, we're going to use two blocks. So if you have two blocks, keep them at hand and let's get into it. So starting from this seated position, you're going to shift your hips to the left and you're going to bring your right leg all the way backward to form an angle with the back of your mat and you're going to bring your left leg in an angle like this towards the front. Now we're going to twist our spine and put our hands forward. And then we're going to breathe through this position. So it's a great way to get a nice twist in your spine and your hips and to explore a variation. So just breathe in and out and let go of anything that occupies your mind at the moment. As you get more comfortable in the position, it's okay to go on your forearms and to explore the twist that you get in your spine. So remember to breathe in and out through your nose and as you breathe out try to get a little deeper within the sensations in your body try to really connect with what's going on and release the tension with every exhale i really like this position it feels amazing in my spine We're holding this position for five minutes before we switch to the next one. So we're about halfway there right now. So keep breathing and enjoy this practice and thanks for joining me. This is really a time for you to connect within yourself and to tune out of the exterior world to really go inside and see what's going on in your mind and your body. This is what I like about yin yoga. It's a form of like meditation when you take care of your health and your body but at the same time you can take care of your mind and lower your stress level in your day to day routine. About 40 seconds left. Keep breathing. You can slowly walk your hands up and backwards so we're gonna come back in the middle and we're gonna do the same in the opposite direction 
So facing the other side of your mat, you're gonna shift your hips to the right. And now you're gonna move your left leg in a right angle towards the back of the mat while bringing your right leg in an angle towards the front. And then we're gonna go down and have this gentle twist on this side as well. Now it's totally normal that you have different sensations from one side to the other. For instance, the prior position was working more in my spine and this one's working more on my right hip. So don't worry about it. Your body will dictate what needs to be stretched and what needs to work. So just breathe through it and enjoy the position. As you hold the position, just explore the tension that you experience throughout your body. As I said, your body will dictate the areas that are tense and tight. And this is where you're gonna direct your breathing, especially your exhale, as a way to let go of that stress and tension. And the more you're gonna stay in the position, the more the tension will dissipate. So for those of you who are new to yin yoga, yin yoga is a style of yoga when you hold positions for, from somewhere between three minutes and eight minutes. We're aiming for about five minutes today per position. And it's a great way to balance your active lifestyle. So for instance, if you're bodybuilding like myself or you're playing sports and you're very active, um, which are more like yang practices, your body needs the opposite so that you can have perfect balance within yourself and this is where yin yoga comes in. It's an amazing way to bring back flexibility and to lower your stress level within your body. It helps you recuperate too from active workouts. So that's why it's very popular among athletes, military personnel, law enforcement, just the regular population, especially lately. The past years, yin yoga has become very popular. And that's why I chose this style of yoga for myself, to balance my active lifestyle. We can start pushing up with our hands and walking them backwards slowly to come back to the middle. So we're going to take a position on our backs. And at this point, it might just feel good to wiggle your hips 
from left to right, just to loosen up the tension that build up from the positions. All right, and from here, we're gonna go into banana pose, which is one of my favorite position as well. Stretch the side of your body. So taking your left leg, you're gonna walk it towards the left side of your mat, towards the edge. And you can use your right leg and cross it over. And you're gonna walk your left shoulder to the left. And this is where you can bring your hands above your head and you're gonna form sort of a banana shape. So you could, you should start feeling a good stretch on your right side of your hip, even on your right IT band. So we're gonna hold this position for about three minutes before we switch to the other side. So in yin yoga, everything's done with softness. You let your body stretch itself and gravity works its magic. It's not about forcing anything, it's about finding your edge and holding it there so that your edge increases with every practices and every sequences you get into. should be proud of yourself for taking the time to join me on this practice today. We never take enough time for ourselves to take care of our health and every time you do, you can directly feel the benefits afterwards and throughout the days to follow. We're going to uncross our right leg and shift our body back in the middle. We're going to do the opposite side. So walk your right leg toward the edge of your the right side of your mat. Now we're going to cross over with our left leg and we're going to walk our right shoulder towards the right side of the mat as well. And then we can put our hands above our head and then just hold it from here. Just connect with your breath and inhale and exhale as you feel what's going on inside your body.
We have another minute in this position before we go to the next one. I'm going to cross our left leg and come back to the middle. Now I want you to roll on your side and we're going to come up to all fours. It might feel good from here to just wiggle your hips from left to right. And now from this position, we're going to step our left leg on the outside of our left arm. And we're going to get into a deep lunge. It might feel good to have a block at this point. And then from here, we're going to use a little twisting position. So we're going to open up our left leg towards the outside of the mat and push on the inside of our left knee with our left arm. And this is where we're going to twist and turn and drop our right hip towards the ground. Now this is a great way to explore a different side of this position. It's called the twisting dragon. Now from here we can put our elbow on the ground and keep pushing on that left knee with your left arm dropping your right hips towards the ground. And just breathe through it. Now from here, we're gonna go back up and we're gonna slowly walk our left leg, heel to toe, heel to toe, towards the right side of the mat. And from here, we're gonna drop it down and I don't want you to form an angle with the front. I want you to let it go backwards so that your left heel gets close to your right hip. Now from here, we're gonna lower ourselves on our forearms and just explore the position from here. This is the sleeping swan.
from this position I want you to explore a little twist. So what you're going to do is you're going to push up with your arms and then you're going to drop on your right forearm and turn towards the left. Now you can bring your left arm behind your back. If you can grab your foot, that's fine. Or if you're not flexible enough, you can just hold like this. So this will offer a big twist in your spine, but you should really feel it in your right hip. So what's fun about exploring twists is, is that it offers you a variation to go deeper within the position and explore different angles. It's a great way to release parts that you were not releasing before within the fascia of your body. Now, if you like it, you can stay in this position or you can go back down on your forearms and then sink in lower so that you can almost kind of sit directly on your left hip. So you feel a nice deep stretch in your left glute. From here, we're gonna go back up. We're gonna bring our leg back. And we're gonna get on our bellies from here. We're gonna take a little break before we do the other side to really stretch our spine. So bringing your elbows underneath your shoulders with your palms facing up. We're gonna drop our shoulder blades backwards and down and hold this position. So this should offer a good stretch in your low back. Now if it hurts or it pinches too much, you can always move your forearms forward a bit so that the angle is less pronounced. But in my case, I like it pronounced, it feels good. slowly push up and come back to all fours now from here we're going to do the other side so taking your right leg and stepping it forward beside your right arm I'm gonna use my block and we're gonna to go to an, a deep lunge on this side so this is the dragon position
So breathing through this position should release some tension and tightness in your hips. And from here, we're gonna incorporate that twist on this side. So stepping out your right foot towards the outside of your mat, we're gonna take our right hand and push on the hip while sinking our left hip lower and down. And this is a great way to twist your body. So just relax into the position. I'm gonna hold it here. Now we can go on our forearm and sink deeper within the position. Now from here, we're gonna go back up and we're gonna wiggle from heel to toe our right leg towards the left side of our mat. So we're gonna get into a sleeping swan. So same thing again. Bring your right heel towards your left hip, pointing your knee forward. And we're gonna sink low on our forearms and kind of like just sit on your right hip and get comfortable in this position. So we're going to breathe through this position before we explore a twist as well. So coming down into our left elbow, we're going to twist our body towards the right and we can bring our right arm behind our low back and grab our foot if we're if you're capable of doing so but for me it's going to stop here and hold this gentle twist Now, if it's too much, you can go back on your forearms and sit on that right hip, really sink low, lower your whole body. If you want, you can go all the way down to your forehead, if you're capable of that. Now from here, we're going to come back up and I want you to sit facing forward. You're going to bring the sole of your feet together so that if you would be leaning forward, your forehead would be able to rest on your feet. So from here, we're going to walk our hands forward and then stop. And we're going to breathe through the position 
And with every exhale, I want you to try to go a little further if you can. But if you are at your edge, just stop there and hold it. That's good enough. If you're able to put your forehead on your feet, go for it. I'm almost there. Make sure you let gravity do the work for you so that you don't tense up in your shoulder blades and in your neck and upper back. It's all about letting gravity pull you down and feeling that nice stretch in your inner groin and outer hips. You can even put your forearms down and grab your feet together. Now we're going to slowly walk our hands back and come out of this position. And from here you can cross your legs, one in front of the other. And you can rest your hands on your knees, closing your eyes. We're going to do 10 breaths and with every exhale, I want you to think in your head of letting go. Exhale, let go. Inhale. Exhale. I want to thank you yogis for joining me today to take care of your health and do this practice with me. Take the time to notice how you feel now compared to before. And if you like the practice, please join me and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Come back regularly where I will offer you more sequences and classes that are free. So come back and we're going to do them together. Namaste.